So today I'm gonna to be doing all the golden stories. Today we're gonna to be doing Her Golden Tears by Moonlight Forever, Her Golden Hair by Starry Wolf, and Her Golden Dress by Sunflower Queen. So I will have all the original videos in the description down below. Let me know what other gotcha stories you like to see me react to next, but let's go ahead and check these out. How's my child? She's perfectly healthy. It's just, um, well, she's very unique since she can cry tears of gold. My name is Eliana. Eliana actually means daughter of the sun. I was named Eliana because of my golden tears. This is my story. Uh, yes, mother? What took you so long, huh? Next time, don't be late. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. uh, that's all for today. I wish I could escape. But mom put full security on me years ago. Even if I did escape, where would I go? I guess this is going to be my life forever. What? You're going to school. The maids will get your clothes ready. You start tomorrow. Finally, I can go to school! I can finally go outside! <laughs> the next day... <sighs> There we go. Hello. Oh, uh, where's my mother? She has a business meeting. Of course she did. But she told me to give you this. It's to cover your eyes so people don't see your golden tears. Uh, okay. Ready for school? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Have fun. Oh, whoa. Uh, guess nobody's here yet. I'll just look around myself while everyone else arrives. After searching around... Hmm, maybe I could make friends. <laughs> what is up with that mask? Right, Kim? Uh, Kim! <laughs> Sorry, Brittany. Hey! I wasn't finished. Uh, now look what you've done. Ugh. Oh, this mask is so itchy. I don't even know why I need it. Huh. I need to find the principal's office. I'll ask her. Excuse me, do you know where the principal's office is? It's right here, silly. Oh, whoops, sorry for sounding dumb. Come in. Ah, Eliana, I've been expecting you. You've come for your schedule. Yes, please. Here you go. Thank you. Hmm, boss, I think we found her. Hmm, oh, right here. Perfect. Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Can anyone answer this question? Me! Oh, sorry I'm late! Hello, you must be new. What do you like to introduce yourself? Uh, of course! My name is Eliana. I hope we can all be friends. What? Ugh. Well, most of us. Ugh. Thank you, Eliana. You can sit at the front. Thank you! Blah, blah, blah. After class? Uh, I need friends. They look nice. Hey, new girl. Come hang with us. <laughs> After that, we all became best friends. But in every story, there's always someone coming to ruin the fun. Hmm. <gasps> Mom? Hi, sweetie. You didn't tell me you made some friends. It's not like you were ever around anyway. What do you mean? <laughs> Don't act all innocent now. Eliana, that's no way to treat your mother. What makes you think you're my mother? I can't even call you my mother anymore. Eliana, that's enough. We are leaving. Sorry about that, girls. <laughs> How dare you embarrass me like that? You made me look like a fool. One second thought. I feel like shopping for jewelry right now. And since I spent all my money yesterday, I'll need some more gold. Mates! Your mother has requested a bit extra gold. Did you fill this up? Was I supposed to? Yes, you idiot! Okay, geez, calm down. I'll go fill it up. You don't deserve this. Then why are you doing this? I have no choice. My family is very poor. They would die if I didn't do my job. Here you are. Let's start then. Three, two, one. Perfect. Ooh. Uh, I feel good for some reason. That's scary. Oh, I forgot I had school. <laughs> Why are you in your school uniform? Because I have school today. Ugh, stupid maids. Can't do a simple task. Guess I'll tell her myself. 
You're not going to school today. Why not? Because I've moved you to a different school. What? Why are you still punishing me for yesterday? Haven't you punished me enough? I'm not punishing you. There's a gang that somehow knows about your golden tears. And they would want to kidnap you and take you away and use you to make gold for themselves. Greedy thieves. Greedy thieves? You're far more than just a greedy thief. And for what? Just to get expensive items? How dare you? How dare me? How dare you treat me as your money tree and not as your own daughter? Ugh. Hey, guys. Hey, Emily. Where's Eliana? I haven't seen her all day. The teacher said she moved schools. Without saying goodbye? Huh? Hello? Fine. Let's go, sis. Mom's calling us. Okay, bye, Emily. Ugh. I'm sick of this place. I'm escaping tonight. I don't care anymore. I'll figure something out. They won't be able to hurt me any longer. <sighs> He's so stupid. <laughs> All right, let's get changed. Get my backpack. There we go. Uh, no cards. Perfect. Uh, last room, and then I'm free. Uh, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Uh, I've been walking for hours. It's already morning. I have to keep moving. I need to get as far away as possible. I have to rest. Just a quick nap. <sighs> Uh, Emily? Where am I? What do you want from me? I'm sure you already know the answer to that. Right, Emily? Yes. Emily, how dare you? I thought you were my friend. I think you need to sleep now, Emily. Uh, where am I? I don't remember. How do they know about my tears? I was right. What? Ah! Your breakfast. What happened to her? What is this place? I have to get out of here. I'm sure they want more than luxury. They already have all of that. So what do they want? Ooh, uh, uh, where am I? Ah! That food had a sleeping potion in it. I still don't know why I'm here. Hmm. I want answers. Tell me what is wrong with her. Not until you give me my payment. If you don't tell me, you're fired. Fine. I never liked working with you anyway. Ugh. <sighs> now what am I gonna do? What are you talking about? Uh, Eliana, you're awake. How do you know my name? Let's chat more about this in my office. <laughs> why am I here? I'm afraid I can't tell you why. You can't just take me away and not tell me anything. I'm a normal human and deserve to live my own life. So just let me be free. I'm sorry, but the president has offered us big money if we can get the test right. What money? What test? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> ah, let me go! <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm never gonna get out now. I should have just stayed home. It would be better than this. I'm just living in dirt. I wonder what's in here. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hi? Shh. They can hear everything you say. Uh, how did you do that? Shh. They can't see you. Stop doing that. It's scary. We need to escape. <gasps> Yay! Can you get off me now? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Use these clothes. Ooh. Ha! Done. Let's go. A few hours later. Can we take a break? <laughs> Where are we even going? To find a place far enough to set up camp. But where? In the forest. Uh, let's keep going. We're almost there. Oh, man. <laughs> Yay! We made it. Uh, oops. Hi. Did I pass out? Yep. What are we gonna do now? What do you mean? Since we escaped, what are we gonna do now? Live our own lives. Buy our own house. Go to school. Anything we want. But what if those guys catch us? Then let's move to a different country. So they can never find us. So... 
You're a robot? Yeah. I can't even touch water. I'll never be able to go to a beach or swim in a pool. Who needs water anyway? We can finally be free from all the bad things. Luckily, we don't have to worry about money. Yeah. Ooh, I'm tired. Night. Good night. Where are we going now? We need to find the city. Why? So we can get some money for your gold and get tickets to move to Australia. <gasps> then we can finally start our lives. So we have to keep moving. Ooh. Um, can you change your pupils? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's so cool. Now let's ask for help. Excuse me? Hi. Need any help? Do you know where the airport is? We moved to Australia and brought our own house. Brought or bought? We got into good schools and graduated. Then we finally found our dream jobs. Emily became a famous scientist because her brain is much smarter than a human brain. And I became a famous singer after writing my own song about my own golden tears. Emily and I were finally happy. Of course, we still had bodyguards so it would stay that way. But we're happy. We're free. I was born with golden hair, even though my parents don't have this hair. This is very rare. Duck, why does she have golden hair? I really don't know, sir. We should take her to the lab. No way! We are not going to give her to the lab. She's our child. We accept that you won't give her to the lab. I'm afraid they will look for her. We're going to protect her. So I grew up in my house without going out. Mama! She said her first word. Whoa, whoa. Dad, I can walk. Present day. So, Dad, what lesson are we going to do now? About school. Sounds boring. Or is it food? First of all, it's not food. Your mom and I talked about this. You're going to school. What is school? It's where you learn things, make friends. You can finally go out. Outside? Yes, sweetie. Really? Yes, but on one condition. Promise never tell about your golden hair. I promise. Now let me dress you up. There. I'm excited to see the outside. Whoa. This is school. It's so big. Whoa. Whoa. Ah! Who do you think you are? I'm sorry, mister. Oh, hi. Please don't hurt me. I won't hurt you. I see you're new. This is my first time at school. Are you kidding? Never mind. Uh, I'm Stella. Why are you giving me your hands like that? Uh, uh, you're kind of weird. So, what's your name? Ellie? Cool. Let's go over there. Alpha. Respect your alpha. Let go of me. Who are you? You shouldn't do that. Mom said defend yourself. He's an alpha, Ellie. He's powerful. But I'm surprised he didn't even hurt you. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm gonna go now. <laughs> that type of a girl. <laughs> uh, uh, alpha, I'm sorry. <sighs> Thank you. What? You're so late. This is my first time at school. Schools aren't that bad after all. I'm learning things. Who's that boy? I'll ask. Uh, hello? What do you want? What are you eating? A lollipop. Uh, what is this feeling? I have feelings for someone. Uh, I? Oh no! Ah, no one should know this! <laughs> what do I do? I'll just jump out the window so no one sees me. Sounds very gotcha logic. <laughs> uh, my feet hurt. <gasps> Ellie, what happened? <gasps> Your hair dye. Don't worry, Mom. I'm sure no one saw me. You need to be careful. Here, let's eat. I have a proposal to say. What is it? Make sure not to waste our time. I won't. I saw the girl you've been looking for. Great. Give me the location. Hey. Uh, yeah? What? Why are we here? Tell me, where are these scientists looking for you? I don't know. Just tell me. Uh, I don't know. Okay, fine. Don't leave your best friend, okay? Uh, poor Zelfa. Oh my god, Ellie. What does he mean by protect your best friend? 
Is it scientist you're looking for me? Do you need to tell me something? Mom and Dad will be mad at me. Just tell me. I have the golden hair. That's so rare. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Are you sure you don't see a girl with golden hair? No. Uh, I know it's you, Willie. Minutes later... <laughs> Let me out! Hey! My hair dye! Don't worry, I'm just gonna experiment on your hair. Uh, my stupid violet head! Shut up! Hmm. <gasps> Money! Hey, Stella. Uh, uh, oh, Elva. What? Have you seen Ellie? No, but she went to the rooftop. Uh, um. Uh. <gasps> ah! uh. Uh, 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 Jacob! Uh, where do you think you're going? Uh, we have a problem. Her hair turned to money. Where is she? A boy took her. Thank you for saving me. Problem. You need to change your look. You probably know this look. Okay. Change your looks. Oh, this is so much change. Let's go. <gasps> you changed a lot. Vivi, you changed a lot. Uh, excuse me? Oh, you marked me. <laughs> Mark on her. I don't want to ruin your relationship. No. Uh, I only like you. Ah! Uh, why her and not me? Because she is sweet, lovely, and not a brat. Uh, good morning, world. <laughs> Time to change. Ah, I can't wait for all the presents. Mom, I have a question. Yes, darling. Could you help me with my hair? Thanks. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Uh, why are people that rude? Why can't I be like the others? Hey, Sierra, stay positive. Everyone so far gave me a you-don't-belong-here look. Uh, stay positive. With Emily, a.k.a. Mom. Now, where is that magic store I've heard of before? Hmm. Oh, I see it. Hello, welcome to Magical Susie. How may I help you? Hi, can I get the most beautiful dress you own? Of course, follow me this way. There are two you can choose. Thank you. Hmm. I like this one. Oh, okay. Well, that's the last one we have. Another girl took the other one. But the one the girl took wasn't magical. Here you go. Thanks for shopping at Magical Susie. Back with Sierra. Mom! Nobody at school likes me. Oh, sweetie, don't worry. Tomorrow you don't have to go to school. You should go to sleep in a few hours, and tomorrow is your big day. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I should really get some rest. <laughs> Ooh, huh? Today's my birthday, which means presents! Yay! Yum, yum. Good morning, Mime. Good morning, my Sierra. And happy birthday. Thanks, Mime. Ahem. Ahem. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Thanks. <laughs> my birthday was awesome. Everything went fine. And guess what? A singer even came to sing me happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. And happy 14th birthday. Then there were the presents. Everyone had given them to me except for my mom. Honey, I have a present for you from me. Ooh! Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm going to try it on. Whoa, I look so pretty. I'm so wearing this tomorrow. Whatever, I'm like so going to sleep. Ah. Ooh! Oh, okay, time to change. There we go. I look so good. Bye, Mom. Love you. Love you, too. Whoa. Whoa. Welcome, beauty queen. Uh, what? 
Whatever. She's so pretty. Hey, new girl, how are you? Uh, hi. You look cute. Thanks. I ship them. Well, I have to go to class. Bye. See you later. Now, what is X plus eight? Ah, uh, Sierra. Uh, yes, go ahead, honey. Anyone else? Elise? Hey, mom. Yes, honey. Ever since I started wearing this dress, a lot of people have been nicer to me. That's nice. No, it's weird. Just yesterday, everyone was so rude. Honey, just be happy people like you. Yeah, but they don't like me for who I am. I could go to the store and ask them what's happening. I mean, sure, if you want. Okay. Wait. How are you texting me, young lady? Uh, uh, well, um, uh, I went to the bathroom and brought my phone. <laughs> Good. As long as you aren't texting me in class. I would never do that. Bye. Love you. Love you, too. Class dismissed. Except for you, Sierra. We are gonna talk about how you can teach me how to be beautiful just like my beautiful students. You! Okay, so teach me how to do makeup. Uh, okay, bye! Hello? Sweetie, when are you coming home? This isn't funny if it's a joke. You've been gone for hours now. Where are you? Hello? Honey, are you there? If you don't respond in the next 15 minutes, I'm calling the police. Mom, I'm okay. Okay, good. Where are you? I'm in front of the school. I'm going to pick you up and tell me what happened. I will. Okay, I'm coming to pick you up. Bye, honey. Bye. Anyways, what happened? Sierra telling Emily what happened. I'm suing them. Why would she want me to help her with that? Is it actually the dress? Whatever. Let's see what I'm going to wear tomorrow. So the dress has magical powers that makes her more beautiful in people's eyes? Wait, but she didn't change. She's gonna go to sleep in the dress. Okay then. Ooh. Wow, I can't believe I just slept in my dress. There's my outfit. I love this one so much. <laughs> I wonder how much people are gonna compliment me on this outfit. But I have to make my hair beautiful. But what if people only liked me because of that dress? I'd like to believe that's not true. Stop thinking negative, Sierra. They like you for who you are. Good morning, hun. You look beautiful. Thanks. I'm off to school. Bye, have a nice day. Ew, where's her golden dress? Where's, where's your golden, golden dress? dress? What? That's how it ended? <gasps> okay, I just wanted to have a few words and say that, you know, if people only like you for, like, what you wear or, like, what you look like, they're obviously not, like, true people that you want to be friends with if they only care about, like, you know, materialistic things like that. People that actually appreciate you for who you are on the inside are the people you want to be surrounded by. So if you feel pressure to be like, oh, I have to wear this certain brand or I have to look a certain way to fit in or whatever, those aren't the people you want to be surrounded with anyway because they'll never truly like you for who you are and you'll always feel like this competition of I have to be a certain way to make them happy. Like they're not worth your time. So I know it's hard if you're alone, but I don't know. Personally, I'd rather be alone and be happy than be miserable being surrounded surrounded by a bunch of fake people so you know I know it's hard in school when you're alone I would I went through that as well <laughs> it's not easy but I don't know I personally think it's better to be alone and happy and be true to who you are and attract people that love you for who you are truly I think you should not be afraid of being who you truly are inside and out if you want to express yourself a certain way and that makes you happy then go for that as well you know don't be afraid to do something or you know as long as you're not harming anyone then don't be afraid to be yourself and the people that truly love you will be there for you no matter what so i hope you guys enjoyed this video of all the golden videos we did today we have her golden tears by moonlight forever her golden hair by starry wolf and her golden dress by sunflower queen i will have all the original videos in the description down below but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a like and if you're new subscribe to become a mermaid or a merman thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys